Do you want to fuck me? Oh man, I already creamed my pants. But I might as well go in and try. <laughs> Why do I always have to wake up until the gossip is about to happen in my dreams? <laughs> oh well, I'm over it. I wish I had someone to love me. I wish I had someone to love. I wish I had someone to cuddle up next to when going to sleep. I wish I had someone to fondle my ball sack. Hey, cheer up. You still got me. What? Who said that? Me, you silly goose. Yeah, what the fuck? What do you mean, what the fuck? We've been together for 19 years, you dummy. What kind of drugs is the editor taking? Now give me a kiss. <laughs> ah, Valentine's Day. A day of love. A day of spending time with your significant other. That is if you're in a relationship. If you're like the rest of us, you're probably sitting at home, completely alone, beating off to God knows what. Anyway, if you're planning on spending your Valentine's Day with your hand around your dick, then this is the perfect video for you. And if you're planning on spending Valentine's Day with your hand around your significant other, you might as well watch anyway, I need the extra view time. So here's a not so fun fact about me that for you is just more bully material, and for me, it keeps me up at night. As you all know, I'm 19, and in those 19 years of existence, I have never had a girlfriend, I have never been on a date, I have not got my first kiss yet, and the most I've ever gotten from a girl was a hug. I am beautiful, no matter what they say. So as you can imagine, this guy is my hero right now. I was, I got hugged by a girl. Bro, save some pussy for the rest of us. Now, you may think that this guy is a sad, lonely virgin, like me, but you'd be wrong. He made a follow-up video where he lost his virginity. And afterwards he got an STD, but that's not important. Point is, he started off slow. When he got a hug from a girl, that was an outstanding victory for him. And now, look at him now. I hope to one day be just like him. I hope. So the closest I've been to actually interacting with a girl was at high school during Valentine's Day. Basically, I went to school on a Valentine's Day and there were students handing out tickets to everyone at the entrance. The ticket had a number on it and the student said, after classes today, Go to the cafeteria and look for a student with a ticket that has the same number. That person will be your valentine. So of course, being a dude who never talked to girls, this excited me. So of course, after classes, I went to the cafeteria hoping to score, and to my surprise, the cafeteria was completely empty. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine, when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. I mean, now that I look back at it, I comfort myself thinking that, well, it could have been worse. Hey, um, is anyone number 143? Now pick up the soap. So due to the fact that I've never had a girlfriend, and my pee, pee has cobwebs on it at this point, like most people, I began watching Girlfriend ASMR and- Wait, wait, wait. Say that again. I began watching Girlfriend ASMR- <laughs>
<laughs> Guys, what, what are you laughing at? It's not funny. It's actually really nice. Why did the editor put this here? And while it's nice, it rips me out of the immersion when I remember that it's not fucking real. Yeah, let's cut all close. <laughs> okay. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. And of course, since it's YouTube, you run into the weird side of YouTube far more quickly. ASMR roleplay. Mildly obsessive female soul reaper? Okay. Vampire marks you as her mate. Wolf girl rescues you after a crash. Of course, it's a Patreon request. Stepsister confesses to you. Okay. So anyway, I'm sure that most of you can relate to this. The reason why we don't have girlfriends is because we lack social skills. Or is that just me? Oh, hi! Hello. Shit, what do I say now? What do I say now? So do you like bread? But don't worry, guys. It could be worse. Way worse. Allow me to remind you of all those really weird, creepy comments that YouTubers get of um, fans trying to flirt with them. Well, let me just very quickly remind you that those are all real, living, breathing people that post those. Now, I'm sure we all know this, but here's an unwritten rule of the internet. Don't follow content creators in hopes of dating them. And just for fun, I decided to find one of these weirdos in the comment section and laugh at them with you. Because it hides my pain. Now since I watch a lot of uh, female YouTubers, for obvious reasons of course, it was fairly easy to find one. You're amazing. I love you. Your voice is so hot. I actually have a crush on you. You're a dime. You guys should do the Floor is Lava video. Shoutouts from Toronto. You're so beautiful. I think a flat brim hat would look good on you. She's single. Woohoo. You're so beautiful. Can I take you on it? <laughs> you guys should do a video with me. <laughs> Now, as you can tell, this kind of guy in the comment section, he's just drowning in vagina. This guy may as well just be called XX Pussy Slayer XX. And just because I don't want to show his actual name, I'm gonna refer to him as such while I tell you about the little interaction I've had with Mr. Pussy Slayer. 3:28 a.m. So one night, I was watching this girl's videos, and I noticed that your boy Pussy Slayer commented another one of his uh, romantic pickup lines. This time by saying. Damn it, she is so wifey. So I decided to step in and tell your boy Pussy Slayer my opinion about his constant comments. So I replied with, Dude, you're so fucking creepy. You constantly look weird on like every vid. Now it was obviously late at night, so I just posted the comment and went to sleep. Six and a half hours late. The next morning, when I woke up, the first thing I did was check my tablet and I saw I had two new notifications. When I checked, I saw the comments I posted got two replies. The first one was from a gentleman trying to defend Mr. Pussy Slayer for my sheer rudeness. He said, or it's just a guy who likes her. Chill out, maybe he's just a super fan. And the second comment was from the myth, the legend, the man himself, Pussy Slayer. And his response was as professional as it was original. So not at all. Fuck you, Norbertus, you closet creep. Somebody's jealous. Somebody's jealous. So obviously, I had to reply to these two gentlemen. So I replied to the first guy by saying, yeah, he's definitely a super fan, but he's a damn creepy one, because as mentioned, he keeps commenting stuff like, She is so hot, or she is so sexy, and at one point even commented, Can I take you out on a date? Lemayo! Then, we were left with Pussy Slayer, so I decided to very carefully disassemble his brutal roast, and tell him exactly why it doesn't exactly work. Firstly, how am I the creep in the situation? And secondly, I don't think I have much to be jealous about. I am the stone that the builder refused. I am the visual, the inspiration that made ladies sing the blues. I'm the spark that makes your idea bright. The same spark that lights the dark so that you can know your love from your right. Anyway, I think that's all I wanted to say for this video. If you're single, I feel you. If you're in a relationship, I'm proud of you. Just don't do anything that you'll regret later. Remember, you're not Harry Potter. Harry! What? I'm pregnant! Fetus deletus! And of course, my New Year's resolution is to get a girlfriend.